Hi, this is Gear217, and welcome back. Today we have the start of a new series I'm going to start doing, which is my Road to Double Moab. Um, I know this series is, well, the series has been done by a fair few people now. Um, I think Fearcrads and iTemp are probably the most famous people that I can think of that do it. Um, but I get so many failures on this Double Moab. Um, I uploaded one a while back, which was the CM901 Double Moab fail, which um, was frustrating to say the least I think I was like two kills off the double and oh, ah um, today we have got the ACR in a lovely red tiger camo um, I don't know why I've got red tiger on I think actually that's just a lie I know exactly why I've got red tiger on um, I had two glasses for the ACR one was set up with sleight of hand one with scavenger and I explained in my last commentary I think about why I use scavenger and that's because obviously without scavenger as your starting perk you lose the benefits of scavenger pro so um yeah, I started running Scavenger Pro as my first perk and having Sleight of Hand as my first unlock if I'm using Specialist, which I think is a much better way of working it, and you haven't ever got to worry about running out of ammo, and if you... Anyway, I've done that. Um, the other thing, uh, Silencer and Extended Mags, um, can't think of a better way to work this gun. It's probably one of the most versatile weapons in the game, I think I've said this already, and the Silencer Extended Mags... Actually, I think I'm pretty sure I covered this in the last commentary of why I used the uh, ACR with uh, Silencer Extended Mags, but I usually run Blue Tiger, camo, and it's not blue tiger, it's just blue camo isn't it, I don't know why they had to take away blue tiger because it is kind of like a tigery kind of thing, it was Modern Warfare 2, same camo systems, um, yeah anyway, um, before I get on this um, today I I will change this up in the fact that I won't always say that what it is going to be, but today is a fail, um, but uh, this is um, uh, this was annoying this one um, I, I was doing quite well and this is quite a rare thing, and the fact that Resistance is one of those maps which I am not particularly good at, and it, I don't know why, it's a good map, um, and I always do well, but I never do sort of spectac spectacularly well, and this is actually the first Moab I actually ever have ever gotten on Resistance, and I was playing with Tommy and Daisy, and I was saying, uh, before we got into this match, I was like, oh, please don't vote Resistance, I hate Resistance, uh, please don't vote it, and da 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 I can never do well on Resistance, and lo and behold, I got a Moab, and I think... About two games later, we've got resistance again in the rotation, and I used the PP90 and got a Moab with that as well. And that was significantly faster than this one, um, which I think was about three or four minutes. And this one is about four, or f I think it was like four and a half minute long Moab, which is not a particularly fast one. But there were reasons for this. Um, <laughs> about halfway through this game, I think everyone decided to leave. Well, I say halfway through this game, halfway through this first streak, uh, everyone decided to leave, and I think we were playing against two people for a fair majority of it. Which was a bit sucky. But uh, there's another thing I want to talk about in this <laughs> this point here. Look at You can see all these kids popping up on it. Look at the length of some of these guys' names. Where do you aim? On Marksman Pro, it's the most annoying thing when you get a name which seems to <laughs> go from one side of the screen to other. And I have no idea where the frig you meant to aim to be able to hit this person. Um, which is incredibly irritating and uh, it winds me up immensely. Though, I have to say, the thing that winds me up the most in this game, and that is irritating, but the thing that winds me up the most is the amount of shit you get stuck on. Every single edge of everything, you just seem to get wedged on. And I I don't know why, and for some reason, as soon as I use Stalker, I seem to get wedged on everything a bit more. But, uh, yeah. Um, this first streak was not particularly the most impressive, and I do apologise for that, but this was... Um, this is probably the sort of uh, first or the closest of late where I've um, completed most of the guns with the double mo uh, completed most of the guns with the Moab now, other than the sniper rifles and a couple of the LMGs. Um, I, I haven't I haven't approached. I don't. The reason I haven't really done the LMGs is I don't enjoy using them. I don't like the speed you you run at, and I don't like not being able to rush like constantly. And with the LMGs, because you're very sort of limited to not being very strong up close you kind of limit yourself to a long range encounterment and I don't really like that, I like to be up in people's faces and unfortunately, obviously, I'm not quite so successful in this game with doing that because of the connection and the hit detection and everything else and just the randomness of this game I don't sort of uh, do quite so well with the rushing um, element of it which is a shame but you kind of have to live with it um, so I don't, that's half the reason I don't like using the LMGs is because it kind of slows your game pace down um, and when you're playing 6v6 it's slow enough as it is so if you're playing with um, LMGs it kind of slows it down a bit more and I don't find it A, very fun to play with them and B, I'm sure it's not very enjoyable for you guys to watch me getting uh, LMG MOBs I could be wrong and you might love it but um, 
Anyway, um, yeah, so, and sniper rifles, I just don't like snipers. I cannot abide snipers. I, I constantly die to snipers on my herb streaks, and it just winds me up, and I, I, yeah. I'm not going to go there, but I hate snipers. I don't hate people, well, I kind of do. <laughs> um, I don't, I've got nothing against people who like to snipe, I've got respect for you who, um, black ops snipers, I've got respect for you. This game is just ridiculous. Qu Quick draw pro, you aim down sights unbelievably fast. And you can, if a good sniper can be, I've, I've covered this before, a good sniper can be better than a shotgun. And it's just ridiculous and it annoys me. Um, another thing I did which was a bit bizarre in this game, which I kind of regret doing, was the fact that I called the Moab in. I mentioned this before, if you call a Moab in, um, it kind of screws up the sound. And I don't know, quite know why. But, unfortunately, um, it, it makes it much harder to get that second Moab. And... I really would recommend not calling it in. As I said, it it doesn't matter. You can call them in. You can you can get multiple ones, and you can still call them on. They don't seem to override like all the other kill streaks. If you get two predators, you only be able to use one because they override one another. But I would recommend not calling it in because it screws up the sound. And obviously, if you're playing six v six, you can sound whore to a very high quality or high level. And in doing so, um, you kind of give yourself a huge advantage. Um, so yeah, I would recommend not calling that in, but I've already said that. Um, other than that, I want to talk about a little thing I got invited to do. Um, a while back, uh, Woody's Gamertag did a thing which was a commentator showdown, I think it was last year. And um, I got invited to do, um, obviously not the same standard, uh, um, it's sort of a, I think it's called the Unknown Commentator Challenge. And it's been operated by a guy called Invisible Chimp. I'd never really heard of him before, but he... Um, um, he's actually quite a good commentator um, and he's decided that he wants to do this sort of thing and I've got a match up against I can't remember the guy's name exactly I think it's the killer tank or something he's got about a thousand subscribers or so I'm not entirely sure I haven't I've never really heard of him before um, if you guys have then uh, please tell me what he's like I haven't got around to watching any of his vid clips yet but um, this competition is coming up quite soon Oops, excuse me. And um, I would l really appreciate your support throughout this. I will give you um, sort of information a, a bit more when it comes close to my uh, competition as such. But yeah, um, I would appreciate the support throughout this thing. Um, other than that, um, I really haven't got an awful lot less to say. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, I shall try and do my best to give you some more of these. I got one the other day which was unbelievable. I got about a two, 2 minute 30 mob on Underground with the MP7. And it was in within the first 40 points of the game, and then from then on in, I just could not, for the life of me, get the rest of these games together. I just perpetually got panic knifed, and it was just went downhill. Anyway, this is unfortunately coming to the close. Um, I think I was on about a 12 kill streak, maybe a 12 or a 13 kill streak, and I just failed again. I said in previous ones, I just fail with Stalker Pro. I can't seem to, or Stalker, I just can't seem to function with it, and here is the death, rather embarrassingly. But anyway, um, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoy this series that I'm going to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a comment and a like rating, and I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.